Welcome. Welcome. Hey, we're live. This is our first uh, first viewing of the Jerry and... Laura. Dr. Laura show. Dr. Laura, yes. <laughs> Dr. She Laura. worked hard for that. You might as well use it, right? Sponsored by The Auto Shop in Plano, beautiful Plano, Texas. Beautiful Plano, Texas. So here we are. We've spent a couple days talking about what it is we're going to talk about. And I said, you know, I just want to keep it loose, like really loose. Like a loose tongue. Uh. <laughs> that could work. <laughs> God help us. Okay, we are really going to be in trouble today. But uh, nonetheless, here we go. Uh, so my name is Jerry Kaziah, and I started, uh, I first came to Plano in 1980. It's been a long time I've been here. And in January 1981, I started my company called The Auto Shop. And since 1981, we have been taking care of lots and lots and lots of cars. We've uh, actually serviced more than a quarter of a million vehicles yeah. here in Plano alone. And we have, uh, I think we're almost 50,000 different clients over the years. We need to put that on the, the sign outside, over a quarter million people served. Yeah, like they do on McDonald's, the way they used to do it with the McDonald's, right? I think that's a one, good idea. one million hamburgers sold. Yeah. Well, the, we over 250,000 vehicles repaired. Fixed. Fixed? Repaired. No, fixed, fixed makes a dog <laughs> nervous. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> We definitely don't. No, no, no. <laughs> but we're going to talk about some serious things too. And the one who keeps us serious is that one. Me. I'm definitely the serious one compared to him. He's my very own cartoon character. Well, there you go. My very own superhero. Uh, I don't know about all that. She's the crypt. No. No. Uh, <laughs> So the truth of it is, we're going to talk about a lot of different things during uh, our adventures together. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I am a certified level two sommelier. I did that just as a hobby. It's actually a hobby that's gotten way out of control and out of hand. But nonetheless, uh, it is something that I'm fascinated by. And we have chased grapes all over the world uh -huh. and had some amazing experience. We'll, show, we'll do some show and tell later, talk about how you drink wine properly uh, and we'll also show some stuff about the shop itself and cars and common questions that we get and uh, like how come is all, how come it's so expensive to fix my car I got lots of pictures to help you with that one yeah don't do maintenance and you'll get really big bills Man, no <laughs> That's kidding. The truth. they used to have the old commercial the Fram commercial say pay me now or pay me later they were talking about the oil filters right uh, and it's a it's still a very apropos comment very pay, accurate pay me now or pay me later mm -hmm. and i promise you buying oil is a lot less expensive than buying metal buying an engine that's what i'm saying mm. oil change is under 100 bucks motors they're in the thousands last one they, was like eight thousand dollars yeah, yeah. I, lo I love those european cars that everybody says oh no i can go 15 and twenty thousand miles on oil oh, changes don't do that please don't do that we'll talk a lot about <laughs> don't doing that <laughs> yeah there's a lot of don't do it in the car business and most people do it anyway oh what's okay, the, what else oh what's uh, the difference between a refrigerator and your car i don't know jerry what is the difference between a refrigerator and my car a car needs maintenance your refrigerator not so much you only replace it, or you only work on it or replace it when it goes bad. Refrigerators Cars, have filters too for the water. Oh, some of them, yeah. And depending on the manufacturer, they'll tell you to change it. A little light will come on and say change it every three to six months yeah. if you use it. And I'm Dr. Laura, and I sold my practice about three years ago in 2017. And so now I get to hang out with my amazing husband <laughs> at the nice. shop. Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Okay. We're, we're doing that. Okay. Are we done? I don't know. What else do you want to do? I, what else do you want to talk about? I think that's it for now. No, that's all? Oh, we got to tell them more. Tell them a story. Tell them a story. Tell us a story, Jerry. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, believe it or not, we are entirely sober. Unfortunately, this is just water in my cup. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, we just want to bring you some good information, 
Make and you smile a little bit. Have some fun. You know, uh, all this election craziness is still going on. And at the end of the day, you know what? You don't have any control over it. And it really doesn't control you. Stick your head out of the sand. Keep it on what you're working on. And let's make great things happen. This is still the greatest nation in the world. And I'm honored to be here. So get out there and get on the road. Come see us. See you, everybody.